wiki.easyvid.com. Search EasyVid Wiki before you decide. EasyVid presents the 10 best web design books. Let's get started with the list. Starting off our list at number 10. Updated for the mobile age, About Face, The Essentials of Interaction Design. Shows how to compose for smartphones and tablets, in addition to traditional web browsers, with an emphasis on optimizing for touchscreen interfaces. It describes best practices and uses a methodical approach. However, it's not a particularly enjoyable read. At number 9, if you're trying to learn HTML and CSS in a big hurry, the Visual Quick Start Guide is presented in an easy step-by-step -step format. Though it doesn't cover everything, it does explain how to structure and lay out pages and how to debug your code. It's got a lot of examples and includes multimedia integration, but the writing can be unfocused. Coming in at number 8 on our list, emphasizing techniques of the Flexbox layout system. Responsive web design with HTML5 and CSS3 explains how to create site that flows seamlessly from a desktop to a smartphone. However, its first-person voice can be off-putting for some readers. It teaches animation skills and shows you how to use validations, though the focus is a bit too narrow. Our newest choices can only be seen at wiki. Dot easybid.com. Go there now and search for web design books or simply click beneath this video. At number 7, UX for Beginners, a crash course in 100 short lessons, covers the conceptual and practical fundamentals of creating an effective and streamlined user experience, and it's infused with a sense of humor throughout to keep you engaged. It includes notes on color theory and works as a general overview but some of the profanity may offend some readers. Moving up our list to number 6. Independently published but kept up to date, WordPress for Beginners 2020 is a visual guide to a platform that's used by many, but requires knowledge to make a page that truly shines. It features plenty of screenshots to help drive home its points. It explains tagging and scheduling and breaks down navigation systems. However, it is too advanced for casual designers. Halfway up our list at number 5. With plenty of helpful illustrations, Don't Make Me Think Revisited takes a common sense approach so people at any experience level can understand the basics. Clearly written without jargon, it makes a tricky subject feel simple. It includes witty observations and the information is well organized, but there's not enough material on UX. At number 4. If you need your guide to be as simple as possible and to take you slowly from one step to the next, then Web Design All-in-One for Dummies is a fine choice. It covers a wide range of topics, including maintenance once your site is up and running. It covers tools for testing and tips for search engine optimization. However, it is too rudimentary for many. Nearing the top of our list at number 3. Intended for green horns, Learning Web Design, a beginner's guide, teaches the technical and artistic elements of customizing online layouts. In addition to covering HTML and CSS, it includes lessons on Flexbox, SVG image files and making sites responsive. It contains information on JavaScript and introduces tools used by developers. There are short quizzes at the end of the chapters. Our newest choices can only be seen at wiki.easybid.com. Go there now and search for web design books or simply click beneath this video. At number 2, for those who are curious about the science behind building user interfaces, Designing with the Mind in Mind is an in-depth study of the aspects of cognitive psychology that will help you make informed decisions across a variety of media. It discusses budgetary issues and includes examples of good and bad layouts. The writing is clear and concise. And coming in at number 1 on our list, one of the definitive textbooks on the subject, Web Development and Design Foundations, shows you the core techniques for creating engaging websites, aided by online practice exercises and games. The writer is a seasoned professor and it includes an introduction to Flexbox. It also covers soft skills like marketing. Our newest choices can only be seen at wiki.easybid.com. Go there now and search for web design books or simply click beneath this video.